All right, Indian Space Agency ISRO has successfully accomplished a milestone 100th rocket launch. At 6.23 a.m. Indian time, today the GSLV Mark II lifted off from the second launch pad at India Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh. Now, since the time India began taking nascent steps in launching rockets to space, the Satish Dhawan Space Center spaceport has been India's gateway to the orbit. A short while ago, the 420-ton rocket carrying the 2.25-ton satellite lifted off majestically amid the haze at sunrise hour. This is the 17th launch mission of India's GSLV Mark II rocket and the 8th flight of this variant with an indigenous cryogenic stage. The GSLV Mark II rocket carried the NVS-02 satellite, an Indian-built navigation satellite that is meant to serve civilian and defence users. NVS is the second in the series of five satellites that are planned. Vion's principal correspondent Siddharth MP reports from the spaceport and tells us about the journey that has led to this 100th launch. Over the last five decades, the Indian Space Agency, ISRO, has performed 99 launch missions from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. This is six generations of rockets that have been launched from the spaceport here. And now we have the landmark 100th launch lifting off from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. The 100th rocket, the GSLV Mark II rocket, the 422-ton vehicle, is lifting off, uh, lighting up the dawn skies here at Sri Harikota. Majestic liftoff we have right now with the characteristic roar of the engines being heard all over for a several kilometer radius. This is a very important mission for India, not just because of the milestone 100th number, but also because of the NVS-02 satellite that this particular rocket is carrying. NVS-02, simply put, is part of a large constellation of Indian satellites. There's five satellites in the NVS series, and NVS is meant to be more like an Indian version of GPS, but of course it's not global. GPS, uh, Russia's GLONASS, all of these are position, navigation, and timing services. But the Russian and American versions are global in nature, whereas the Indian one is regional in nature. NVS satellites will cover Indian mainland and also 1500 kilometers from Indian mainland. So you could say more, more like South Asia region. So that's what this satellite will cover and five satellites in the NVS series will eventually be launched and this is the second one that's taking to the skies from Fiery Kota. This is a mission that gains immense significance for India's strategic and civilian users because the position, navigation and timing signals are the kind that will be used by our cell phones, common cell phones. At the same time, it will also be used by India's defense forces. From Sri Harikota, Siddharth MP, Vyond, World is One.